another x value to choose. So we'll go ahead and try that. Let's choose x equal negative 3 and see what happens. So there we go. Okay. There's our equation. Now we're going to substitute into our equation x equals 3. I'm sorry, x equals negative 3. Yeah, sorry about that. And what happens, Charlie? What's 2 times negative 3? Negative 6. Negative 6. Very good. Okay. And negative 6, now subtract 3y equals 6. What we have to do is solve for y. So if we've done these equations before, Charlie. I gotta get the y by itself. So what's my next step? Add six to both sides. Okay, we add six to both sides, okay? Those cancel. And the left hand side, we're left with what, Charlie? Negative three y. Negative three y, and the right hand side? Twelve. Twelve. Very good. Okay, we have negative three y equals twelve. Remember, we're solving for y. So now, Charlie, what do we do next? Divide by negative three. Divide both sides by a negative three. So we'll go ahead and show that. Bring our bar down, there's a negative 3. Those cancel. Okay, Charlie, what do we get for y? Negative 4. Negative 4. Very good. So we chose x equal a negative 3, and y came out to be negative 4. So, Charlie, what's our ordered pair? Negative 3, negative 4. Very good, Charlie. So we'll go ahead and listen in our table right here. Now, again, we're going to look at our patterns, our pattern that's occurring in our table. Notice the x's are decreasing by threes, and the y's are also decreasing, but they're decreasing by two, okay? So I wrote down negative three showing that they're decreasing, and negative two for the y's because they're decreasing in that pattern there. Again, that will be the referred to as the slope of the line that the ratio of the, actually the change of y over change of x is the, the slope of the line, but we'll get more into that in our next uh, few sections here. Okay, Charles, so let's go ahead and bring our grid and let's start plotting some points. Oh, God. Okay, let's plot the point 3, 0 first. Remember, we start at the origin. Okay, and Charlie, we move which way? X equals 3, we move which way? To the right, 3. To the right, 3. Very nice. There it is. And now, do we have to move on the Y? No. Up and down? No, because Y was 0. Okay, so let's go to our next point. We're ordered pairs. 0, comma, negative 2. X is zero, Charlie. We're going to start at the origin. I don't have to move horizontally because X was zero. We simply have to move which way, Charlie? Down two. Down two. Very good. So there it is right there. Okay. And let's do our next point here. Negative three, comma, negative four. We start at the origin and move which way first? We're doing the X's. Do we move right or left? Left. To the left three times. So there it is. Okay. Now, Charlie, we have to move which way for the Y? Up or down? Yeah. There. Down. And we're going to move down four. So there it is. There's our point. Now all we have to do is draw the line. Just connect the dots. Remember, all lines are straight. Just draw your line there. And there you have it. Very nice. Charlie. Okay, let's move on. Now, here we are moving on to a linear equation again. We have two variables. But this is a special form here. Some of you might know this is called the slope-intercept form. For those of you that are a little bit ahead or been reading ahead, you know, we just got to get Charlie to, uh, to get up with that. So, let's go on now. Here we go. We're going to choose a value for x. Now, Charlie, give us a value for x. 6. Okay, we're going to choose x equals 6. Very nice. Okay. Now, see, x was a good choice. What? I'm sorry, 6 was a good choice oh. for x because we're back to our kung fu in the fractions, right? Notice here, 3 goes into 6 2 times, and 2 times 2 is 4. Oh, yeah. So in our next step there, that will give us uh, y equals 4, subtract 4, which gives us what, Charlie? 0. y equals 0, very good, okay? And so, that is the ordered pair what, Charlie? We chose x equals 6, the y came out to be 0. So what's our ordered pair, Charlie? 6 comma 0. 6 comma 0. Very nice there. Okay, we'll go ahead and put that on our table. Now, what's another good choice for x, Charlie? 3. Okay, 3 is a good choice because 3 will kung fu that fraction out of there. Okay, so we'll go ahead and list that. We'll do 3. And notice here y equals 2 thirds times 3, subtract 4, 
Now, Charlie, what's two thirds times three? Two. Two, that's right, because the threes cancel out. We have y equals two subtract four. Very nice, Charlie. And so what is two subtract four, Charlie? Negative two. Negative two, very good. And so, choosing x equals three gives us y equals a negative two. And Charlie, so what's our ordered pair there? Three comma negative two. Three comma negative two, very good. We'll go ahead and put it in our table, okay? Now, we'll go for another point. Usually we want three points, okay, remember when we're graphing lines. That way, we know if they all lie on a line, when you draw your line, they're all straight, they're on a line, then you know you're right, okay? Now, here we go, Charlie. Um, what's a good, another good choice for x? Zero. x equals zero, because x equals zero will basically uh, get rid of the fraction, because two-thirds times zero will be zero. Now, notice when we do that, okay, we're going to choose x equals 0. The fraction goes away. We get y equals 0 subtract 4. And so, Charlie, what's 0 subtract 4? Negative 4. Negative 4. Very nice, Charlie. So there's our ordered pair, and we'll go ahead and put it in our table now. Now, once again, we'll notice our pattern in our table. Notice the x values are decreasing by 3s, and the y values are decreasing by twos, okay? That's again, we're seeing that, that pattern called slope of a line, okay? We'll talk more about that later again. Okay, now all we have to do is plot our line and we'll be done here. So, okay, Charlie, we're going to plot 6, 0. What happens now? How do we plot that one? Start at the origin and move which way? Right. To the right six times. There it goes. Okay, let's go to our next ordered pair. 3 comma negative 2, we start at the origin. Now to plot the x, Charlie, we move which way? The right 3. That's right, to the right 3. And now to get the y, negative 2, we have to move which way, Charlie? Down 2. Down 2. Very nice, Charlie. We're almost home. So bring us home, Charlie. We've got to plot this 0 comma negative 4. We're at the origin. Now x is 0, so we don't have to move right or left. We simply have to move which way, Charlie? Down 4. Down four to get to that negative four, and there it is. Once we got our three dots there, we simply draw our line, okay? Now remember, we had talked about this in class, that where the line intersects the x-axis, that is called the x-intercept. Now remember, those coordinates there for the x-intercept are six comma zero, okay? And the y-intercept for this line is what, Charlie? Zero negative four. Zero comma negative four, so there you go. That was fun. We're going to grab some more lines in part two, three, four, five, and six. What? Okay. So anyway, we'll see you all later. Hey, Charlie, you ready to grab some lines? Oh, gosh. Oh. All right. We'll see you guys next time.